Hey guys, welcome back to another Xcode 4.3 tutorial. And today we're going to add to the project elements and continue forward with some of the objects that uh, Xcode actually provides for us. And today we're going to be going over the switch, which basically uh, allows us to use a Boolean state value, as it says in the objects menu here, and allows us to control different elements with a simple on, off, or yes, no. And so that's what we're going to go over today. So what we're going to do is add a new view controller like we do in uh, the previous tutorials. Drop a new view in there. View controller, sorry. And uh, we'll just go ahead and throw the elements that we're going to use on this tutorial. One being the switch. So go ahead and throw that on board. And the second being we'll use the segmented controller like we used in the previous tutorial. Now before we get started on actually hooking it up behind the scenes, we're going to go ahead and add our button so we can get uh, continue on with our project elements. We're going to name this uh, simply switch. We can make it look good later. And we are going to hook it up to our view controller so we inherit that navigational um, view controller like in the previous view controllers over here, so on and so forth. So you'll see that. Anyways, if you don't know what I'm talking about there, go back, check out, uh, I think, like two or three tutorials. I show you how to do everything in a more rundown version. Anyways, as we hook this view controller up, we're going to need a class associ associated with this view controller that's going to handle what the switch is going to do to the on screen elements or what you want it to do for you um, with that class. So we're going to go over to the navigational bar over to the left and we're going to simply right click and add a new file and uh, by doing that you'll see you get prompted with some elements and uh, some templates that you can choose we're going to click in the Coco Touch iOS templates and go ahead and select the Objective-C class now in doing that you'll get prompted for a class name which we're just going to simply call a uh, switch controller something like that and make sure you're working within the realm of the subclass of a UI view controller. Now the only difference in that is let's say if you're using a table view, so on and so forth, um, but just make sure you're within the UI view controller for that. Um, none of these options should be selected and go ahead and click next and create the classes within your project files there. Now as you see in the navigational controller over here, or navigational menu, those two elements appeared um, we have a .h for our header and a .m for our implementation. I'll go into that here in a second. But before we go any further, we got to go back to our storyboard, where we have to hook up the classes that we just created. And again, I've do this in a slower version in one of the tutorials. There, click the view controller, go up to the identities class. We're going to type uh, switch controller. Should auto fill for you and now we've got the actual classes associated to the view controller that we've created now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the editor open up the side by side and that's gonna give us the ability to hook up our action which you guys don't know exactly what we're doing yet but you'll see here in a second um, and then also hook up the outlets um, in association to our switch and our segmented controller so now before we hook those up, we got to make sure that we're within the right class over to our assistant editor here. So as you can see up at the top, we, we are in the segment.m, which is the previous tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and click um, this, this little icon up here. Go to recent files and find your switch controller.h or whatever the class name that you associated, the header file, the .h. So when you find the .h, you'll see that we've got a basic template of uh, our UI view controller and the class associated um, to it. So now what we have to do is we have to put our, our action and our outlets, establish those within our header file here. Now the easiest way to do that is uh, by clicking on the element on screen. So in this case, we've got the switch. Holding control, drag and click up and you'll see we're prompted with an outlet or you can switch it, switch it to an action there. In this case we're going to first establish our outlet which we'll just call this my switch and go ahead and connect that element there. The next thing that we're going to do is establish our outlet for our segmented controller. And let me explain what we're going to be doing here and it'll kind of make sense as we move forward. But basically what we're going to do is with this simple on off switch 
um, the user will, will load the UI view which will show this view controller here and uh, it'll default to the on so that'll give the user the ability to be able to click the segmented controller from first to second so on and so forth but we won't hook the segmented controller up yet but it'll allow them to basically click and navigate between the segmented controller now when the user actually slides this to off the switch what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable our segmented controller so at this point they won't actually be able to click the segmented controller and for finishing touches we're gonna actually pull down the tint or what they call the alpha on our segmented controller so it kind of goes to a maybe like a half gray or something like that and it uh, it basically just helps the user understand that oh yeah this is disabled I can't use this anymore alright well anyways <laughs> a little exaggerated there but we're just gonna add that in there to show you some more of the capabilities of the switch so without further ado hook up your outlet for your segmented controller we're just gonna call this my seg and the last thing that we're gonna do is we have to send it in action to our um, element here so basically when we call the off we're gonna be sending an action to the segmented controller and saying hey you you go gray or what, whatever we're gonna do here so take that hook it up as an action and we'll just call this uh, seg toggle because basically we're toggling between on and off alright so you got all your actions and your outlets hooked up now uh, wow, wow. My goodness okay this could be like a 30 minute tutorial um i'm gonna finish up the rest in the next tutorial so stay tuned to part two of this and we'll hook up the the actual toggle switch and get everything working for you guys all right we'll catch you guys in the next one